Hello, I'm Miss Ginsburg with No Adam, and today we're going to be reading Sight and Light. This is a student reader in Unit 8. Seeing with Light, Exploring Caves. Dave loves to explore caves. Caves are large open spaces under the ground. One cave is deep beneath the desert in New Mexico. Dave used a rope to lower himself into the cave. It got darker the farther down he went. Dave took this photo inside a cave. Lighting up objects. Before long, Dave was surrounded by darkness. He could see only the rope in front of him. He could see the rope because he had a headlamp a headlamp is a source of light. His headlamp lit up whatever was in its beam of light. This light let Dave see the things in front of him. Sight is a sense. It uses the eyes to take in light information about an object's position, shape, and color. These men have headlight lamps on. Seeing in a cave. We can only see objects when there is light. Caves are dark places. This is because they are underground. Light from the sun doesn't reach them. When Dave first enters a cave, there is some light. This light is from the sun. The farther he moves into the cave, the darker it gets. Caves are dark places. The sun lights the opening of the cave. Light in a cave. People like Dave bring their own light. They bring headlamps and flashlights. This lets them see what is around them. If Dave turned off his headlamp, he would be in the dark. He wouldn't be able to see anything around him. In some caves, there are animals that make their own light. People don't need another source of light to see these animals. They light themselves up. These animals make their own light. Light and matter. A reflective salt flat. Luca Galusi travels the world. He takes pictures of what he sees. On one trip, he stood on top of a giant salt flat. This is a wide open area covered with salt. When water covers it, this area becomes the world's largest natural mirror. Luca took this photo of the salt flat. Objects reflect light. Luca took a picture of this salt flat. The sky appears to be on the ground. This is because of how the water in the salt flat reflects light. To reflect means to bounce off of. All objects reflect some light. This is how we see them. Light reflects off of the object and into our eyes. So here's our light source, the sun, and it goes to the object. It reflects off of the object and into our eye. Some objects reflect more light than other objects. Shiny, smooth objects reflect more light than dull or rough objects. Light colored objects also reflect more light than dark colored objects. Some objects reflect light in a way that lets you see images in their surface. This is what happens with mirrors. When you look in a mirror, your image reflects back. It is also what happens with the water in the salt flat. How light moves. If you hold a mirror in front of a beam of light, a shadow will form on the other side. Shadows are dark shapes created when an object blocks light. 
a material that blocks all light from passing through is opaque. The rocks that make up caves are also opaque. Opaque objects create shadows. Cave walls are opaque. Some materials are transparent. Transparent materials allow light to completely pass through them. They don't reflect much light. Clear plastic is transparent. So is glass. Some materials are translucent. Translucent materials let some light pass through. They reflect some light. Wax paper is translucent. The window is transparent. We can see through transparent materials. I learned a lot reading Sight and Light, and I had fun too. I hope you learned a lot and you had fun also. I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Bye.